Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome back, Aries. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Aries, as it takes care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. Shout out to the evolving spirit. Shout out to the soul tribe members, gang, gang. I appreciate you all so much. Welcome back, Patreon soul family as well. It is a pleasure to assist each and every one of you all i definitely hope you all are enjoying the content here just as much as i am rams and welcome back aries to the ones that are new here it is an honor to have each and every one of you all here welcome back to my ods thank you all so much for your love and your continuous support here all right this week we are focusing in on the color red yes we're focusing in on that root chakra this week here aries all right that focuses in on centering and grounding ourselves with the root chakra and also allows us to step into our power aries all right so definitely if you're new here keep up with the community board that is where i do post daily content there as well and letting you know what colors that we transition to each week we do understand here that colors have their own frequency and vibration here at Aries and is a great way to manifest all right so if you're new here join our patreon soul family or evolve in spirit soul tribe where i do go into details on how to manifest with colors as well all right so let's go ahead no further ado here loves we're going to go ahead and get into your reading all right, we're first going to start with an oracle message here from the Moonology deck here from your guardian angels and your ancestors here, Rams. And then Duffy stick around. We're going to dive into the tarot deck here to see what's going on in tarot land and then love for you. And Duffy stick around. I'm going to use my raw tarot deck that I created to see how the energies that are surround you at this time feel towards you. All right, so no further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh, well, look at here. We have believe in the impossible. Yes, I love the cards here, okay? However, whatever this is, this is going to take place for some of you all during the blue moon or the next blue moon that we have here that could be very significant, all right? But however, whatever it is that you believe in here, know that there is not a cap on this. Know that there is not a limit on whatever it is that you are believing in right now. This could be because of people that is around you, all right? You always want to make sure that you are around people that will motivate you and that actually will support whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest for yourself or whatever you believe in. Always be around people that are going to motivate you in regarding whatever it is that you want to accomplish your Aries or establish for yourself. If you're around people that are like-minded like yourself, then this will keep you going. This will keep you focused and you will actually accomplish whatever it is that you may feel that may be impossible because of the type of people or energy that you are around if they don't believe it then it's going to be hard for you to even believe it or you want to keep it to yourself if you're not able to get around like-minded people keep whatever it is that you believe to yourself while you're manifesting it okay until it comes to fruition here all right but believe in the impossible know that anything anything you can do as long as you put your mind to it i say i say all right, beautiful message there. We're going to put this up here to remind you of your manifestation, to remind you that, yes, you can do it. Nothing is impossible for you to do. Do it. That's all you have to do is just start and accomplish it and try. You will never know, Aries, until you try. So whatever that is, particularly for you, that's a beautiful message there. Let's go ahead and get into your love life here, Aries. Wow, we have the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, yeah. You have an opportunity to establish whatever this is that you're wanting to establish for yourself when it comes to even love, okay? Some of y'all, this could be a fire sign like yourself here. This is your energy, all right? This could be a Sagittarius here as well, 
or a Leo here, Aries, or an Aries like yourself. There is definitely a new beginning here that is coming towards you, an opportunity here, okay, that's going to make you very happy. This is having to do with your desires and things that you've always had compassion in towards here, all right, when it comes to this new beginning here, okay? Rather, this is a new beginning with a partner here or whatever it is that you're trying to establish for yourself. You could be wanting to start or establish your own business here, your own company, all right, or whatever dream that you feel that you always wanted to pursue, the opportunity is here, okay? So let's see what else here, Rams. Wow, yeah, we got the Queen of Swords here. Now, this is air element here, Aries. This could be an air sign here, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, Aries, all right? This could be a queen or a king of swords here. Take it how it resonates for you. But I definitely do see you stepping into your power and stepping into your truth here. And definitely protecting what you believe. So that's good here as well. You're definitely making sure to set some healthy boundaries here around yourself and your surroundings here. So that is wonderful, all right? Even when it comes to love offers here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I see why you have that sword up and you're protecting yourself here. We have Cap Capricorn energy here as well, Aries. Some of you are this particular person here could be a Capricorn here, all right? Or this could be a person here that's in a very low frequency vibration here. Something that you are no longer putting yourself in between or involving yourself in. Or even wanting to exchange energies with this particular person here, whomever is on this low frequency vibration here, okay? So it looks like this energy here rather if it's a capricorn or whomever here they want a brand new beginning with you but you're like uh-uh we've been down that road before i already know what this is about and i am going to protect my space my energy and i'm setting boundaries here this go around here you're not going to come in and take advantage of me in this low frequency vibration here in the devil energy here okay so some of you are literally telling this person this as they're coming towards you and also wanting an offer or opportunity because this person see how you are now in the energy of manifesting things for yourself you're moving forward you're happy so of course when you're in that energy and space and time this energy is going to want to come in and try to balance it out or try to come in and see where they can fit in, okay? So, wow, very significant with the messages here today, Aries. Definitely so far, if this is resonating for you, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, my loves. We would love to have you, Aries, here, part of our soul family. Again, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, all right? Thank you all so much for your love and support. Make sure to adjust your notification bell, Aries, for when I go live on this platform. Yes, I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started. All right. And I am also now back available for personal readings, Aries. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information loves is down below in the description box, my loves. All right. So now we're going to move forward, as I mentioned, and close out your reading with messages from the energies that are surrounding you at this time or the person here that is on your mind. Let's see what they have to say at this time here. Wow. We have you been on my mind, Aries. Wow. So this particular person here has been thinking about you a lot. All right. Rather, this is someone new or this person here from the past here that you're defending yourself from here is why they're coming in as well because they've been thinking about you as well here okay so it look like you have two different energies here that are thinking about you okay wow yeah we definitely have two different energies for others of you all maybe three okay we got the other woman here so this could be referencing to for some of you all a third party situation here this person or this person that was in this low frequency vibration may have placed you in a third party situation here with another woman Okay, or you can take it as another man. You can flip it. The gender is welcome to be flipped here. Okay, there could be an other woman or another man here involved as in a third party situation. Is why some of you all here have your guard up here. Okay, because you're not going to be showing up in the Queen of Swords energy or the King of Swords energy if you're not protecting yourself or defending yourself from a situation or a circumstance here Aries okay or the roles could be flipped this could be your person having to do this with a partner or an ex of theirs here okay 
yeah wow we have i love you okay so that's definitely that other energy that i was picking up here okay some of y'all could have met someone here where you've gotten to know this person over time here it could have been a couple of months here almost to a year or two and someone is finding themselves now having feelings for you or falling in love here with you all right and as this is taking place here as i mentioned this ex here who put you in this situation or third party here is coming back and wanting to reconcile with you as well yeah this is what i was picking up and you're like what the fuck uh-uh not today satan okay yeah we have i am ready for this okay so you definitely have someone that is ready to move forward that is ready now to settle down with you okay and then others of you all you have a past person that wants to settle down with you again and you're like no okay or this person's like no to this ex here of theirs okay i'm getting a lot of downloads here for you aries all right let's see what else comes out here for you wow Let's see, Garden Angels, what else do Aries need to know? Wow, last card here we have is, I want to fix this, okay? So someone, again, there's an ex here, someone that you exchange energies here with already from the past year that wants to come in and wants to fix this relationship or this situation here that they have known that they've messed up here with you. Others of you all, you have someone new here or necessarily they are now ready to settle down here with you because they're ready for this connection. They're ready to settle down and move forward in this relationship with you. Wow, I got several different energies there come through for you today, Aries. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, all that information loves is down below in the description box. Again, make sure to adjust your notification bell, Aries, so that way you all can join me live for Waking Tarot. And again, if you would love to extend your stay and join our Patreon Soul Family, where I do go live privately there as well, and you're actually able to see my face or put a voice to the face, all right? I do show my face there for live streams and pre-recorded readings. You also get free questions each and every time I go live for all Patreon soul members. And you get all the readings, all the content here a day in advance. So always stay a beat ahead of yourselves on my content here. And you also get daily content on ways to spiritually, mentally, and emotionally to evolve, all right? Thank you all so much, Aries, for your love and support. And we definitely shall chit-chat soon. You all take care. Bye-bye.